Alrighty then. Good morning, church. How's everyone? Spread towards the far reaches of the room. Well, as you see, we've decorated for Christmas and, and something Pastor Scott and, and uh, all of us want to have this be like when we come together. It's not like a big show. We're not putting on a performance. This is like being family in the living room. And we've decorated the living room for Christmas, so let's just gather together, sing some songs to our Lord. And um, in Luke chapter 2, in verses 13 and 14, it says, Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Well, that's, that's us. That's the church. That's the people that he has redeemed to his name for his glory. He's pleased with his bride, and we get to celebrate him. Now, as we sing some of these songs, occasionally awkward phrases or unknown words come up, words like Hosanna or Hallelujah, where maybe you don't think about what it is we're singing. In this next song that we are going to do, there is a phrase, Gloria in excelsis Deo. It's Latin, and it means glory to God in the highest. That is what we are singing, praises to his name as we celebrate who he is and what he has done. So I invite you to stand. Let's make a joyful noise to his name and celebrate him in this place.
God in the highest. All creation declares the glory of God. And we want to sing with joy in our hearts before the Lord of our salvation. We'll sing joy to the world.
good to praise his name together. This next song we'll, we'll do together, it's a song that's just an invitation. It's a reminder to all of us. It says, oh, come, all ye faithful, come and let us adore him. We are joyful, we are triumphant because of his redemptive power, because of what he has done. So anyway, let's, uh, let's praise his name together. that are just of, of direct praise to him where we say Gloria in Excelsis Deo, glory to God in the highest. Some of the songs we do sing of, of what he has done, what he's accomplished for us and uh, to serve to remind us of what we believe. This next one we do is, is definitely one of those ones where it starts off on the horizontal. It starts off reminding us of what God has accomplished that he chose to become God, um, man, or Emmanuel, God with us, to make his dwelling among us, to come taking on the nature of a humble servant, to serve, not to be served. And what a holy night that was that he chose to do that. Till he appeared and the sun. 
we thank you. Thank you so much for that night where you became man, where you chose to make your dwelling among us. You sacrificed so much. You came here to take on the nature of a servant. You humbled yourself and you set an example that we commit to follow, Lord. We commit to setting the needs of others ahead of ourselves, especially in this season where you showed us what true generosity is. We are so thankful to belong to you, Lord Jesus, redeemed by your name, adopted into your family, your children, brothers and sisters here in this place. We are so thankful for you. Thank you for Christmas. And your church says, amen. God bless you, church. It's wonderful to praise his name alongside you. Would you please go find someone, make them feel very welcome, and see what they're doing this Christmas season.